you see that you are unfaced. You are unaffected. You are steadfast, unmovable, strong, 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 strong. I'm telling you today, he doesn't know you. He doesn't. At all. He doesn't know you at all. He doesn't know your name. He is not, he is not an all-knowing being. God is the one who knows everything. God is the one who knows everything. He doesn't know you. He doesn't even know your name. He is seeking. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. You think you're the only one who has been tempted? Several people have been tempted. You think you're the only one who has slept? The psalmist wrote and he said, the righteous, you will fall seven times. It means he has fallen before. It means he understands what it takes to him. It means to fall. So you fall seven times, like he shall rise again. Because he has seen himself down, he has seen himself up. So he knows that when you go down, it's not your end. He said seven. You're about to retire over one, one tripping. You will never retire. You have to be strong. Even in your mistakes, be strong. When you make a mistake, be strong. Be strong and recover. When you get a setback, be strong and recover. You shall recover. You will. You will. You will. You will. You'll recover. You're going to recover. You try this one, it didn't work. Try another one. Oh, try something else. He, he doesn't know you. Can you can you understand that? He doesn't. If you somebody who knows, somebody who knows where he is going, doesn't walk around looking for somebody to devour. He goes for the place. I'm going here. When I was coming here, I wasn't walking around. I wasn't walking around looking, looking, for, looking for the venue. I knew where the venue was. I came straight here. I came straight. There was no problem. I came straight. When I don't know somewhere, you see me moving around. Move me around. Moving around. The other day I was in the shop and I was looking for something. And I thought it was in this aisle. Because I know the shop very well. So I thought it's in this aisle. But not knowing when they get, they don't have jobs to do in the evening. They just change things around <laughs> to keep somebody busy. So they have moved it. It was in the same hour, but they have moved it from the right hand side to the left. And I was sure it's always on the right hand side. I've been through there, and I said to myself today, I'm not going to ask. I will find it. I've been through the hour over three times. I couldn't find it. No, I'm on, on the fourth one. I just happened to look to the left. I said, there. You see, I was, I was seeking. I was looking because now I couldn't find where it was. So I had to be looking. Is it this aisle? Is it that aisle? Is it here? Is it there? Is it here? Is it there? Where is it? Where have they put it? Where have they moved it? Where have they moved it to? Is it on this side? Is it on this side? I was looking. That's somebody who doesn't know what is. He knows what he's looking for, but he doesn't know who fits it. So he's knocking. When he knocks on your door, you must be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Number three. You are going to be strong. Hey, first life is going to be a strong church. You are going to follow through to the end. 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 <laughs> Number three. You have to be strong because the whole world lies in wickedness. First John chapter 5 verse 19. Wow. And we know that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. 
there's a lot of wicked activities and wicked people. You see, what some of these points are telling you is that don't be surprised. You have the song, surprise the enemy. Surprise him with surprises. When he surprises you, surprise him. Always be ready to surprise your enemy. Don't be there and say, hey, look at what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. You should know what to do. The whole world lies in wickedness. When you are surprised, surprise back. Surprised by not being shocked. You see, for every experience, there's almost a predicted response. There's a predicted response. Somebody does this, this is what you do. Somebody does this, this is what you do. Sometimes you have to surprise them and do something different or do something extreme. Extreme. Sometimes even church members. As when you are leading members, church Christians, see, it's, as though, it's as though they know that this is what you will do. Is that from what I have done, this is what he will do. Sometimes you have to surprise them. Sometimes you, sometimes you have to, we have to surprise. Sometimes, sometimes I surprise you. I don't say anything. Because you think I'll come screaming. I don't say anything. Yeah. Sometimes I don't say anything. And then you are surprised. Somebody sent me a message the other day. Hey, Bishop, Bishop, won't you blast me? I said, am I a blaster? Am I a blaster? But you see, my reaction to that person's won't you blast me was a shock to the person till today. Because it was extreme. I, I went to the, I went for the unimaginable. The person actually thought it was impossible. I did it. I did it and I never looked back. It was extreme. She was expecting blasting. I said, you don't know what you are dealing with. I don't have blasts. I have worse than a blast. Worse than a blast. Worse than talking. Worse. Won't I blast you? Um, is my name MC Blaster? this in your back pocket. The whole world is full of people are wicked. Yeah. Wicked spirits. We are contending against wicked spirits. Have responses. I have responses. My pocket is loaded with responses. Loaded with responses. Loaded with responses. Depending on what I want, I pull what I want out. I'm not a football referee that you can tell which pocket that this one, this one is red that is coming out. So you see them, they know where the yellow card is, they know where the red is. So you see them when they do something, they'll be looking. To check it. What they see is going for the red, then they say, No, 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 no. If you're a good leader, you put all the cards in one pocket. When you put your hand there, nobody knows what is coming out. Because you know that the world is full of wickedness. People have wicked plants. Evil plants. That they want to hatch. Surprises. Be ready to surprise. Surprise the enemy. I say surprise the enemy. Surprise the enemy. The enemy surprise him. There are people who think you will never forgive them. Forgive them. Yeah, they mean you will never just forgive them. Don't be surprised. Just forgive them. Satan has planned, has planned for you to be unforgiving, to become bitter. You can't pray, you can't do anything, you can't continue again. That's his plan. Surprise him. Surprise him. Said, tell, tell both he and his agents that oh, it's nothing, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. 
It's not, it's not human beings that make mistakes. See, if they tell me this, it's not the problem. It's okay. It's not the problem. It's not the problem. Because he's waiting for you to become unforgiven. Bitter. Hurt. Wounded. You, you're going to live the rest, of, as, the rest of your life as a wounded person. Surprise. Surprise the enemy. She said, no, it's not a problem. Say, oh, really? Oh, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's live as though it never happened. It's a surprise. Satan will be surprised that you are still singing. You are still dancing. You are still jumping. You are still in church. Because his plan is that you will stop going to church. That's his plan. That's his plan. You think the plan is that thing that happened? No, 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 no. His plan is that you stop going to church. You must be strong. Understand that the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world. The whole world. Is it possible to solve this thing that keeps whistling? Number one, four. How many do you want before we? Hmm. I love this one. Not this one, actually. The next one. Hey. Don't, don't be surprised again by wicked things. No, don't be surprised. Be strong and resist him. Be strong and resist him. Don't be surprised. Somebody has made a wicked move on you. Don't be surprised. The whole world lies. You must, you must rather be ready. Because it's weakness. You see, when you are weak, when you're not strong enough, that you are crippled by a wicked person and by a wicked move. So you have to be strong. See, oh, see, oh I know already. I know already. First John 5 has told me already. I know. The whole world lies. Whole world is covered, covered in wickedness. Even in the church, you see people are wicked. You shall never be wicked. You must be strong because when you are empty of God's strength, you become an easy target for the devil. Matthew chapter 12. Are you going to be strong? I'm getting to the end of my sermon, you know. Oh. Matthew 6, 4, that's 43, say. It says that when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through the dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came up. This one, he knows the address. Wow. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than themselves, than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. You shall escape from this verse. Amen. So you must be strong so that the spirits that were displaced when you get born again, when they come back, because they'll they come back, they'll come and try. You think they won't try? They'll try. They'll try. They'll try. That's why sometimes you see glimpses of your past trying to come. How many of you have seen flashes? 
flashes flashes of things you used to do sometimes even the thoughts maybe you are, you are in church you are in church you've done something you are being corrected then you, something tells you that you are lucky it's like the person is lucky you are born again if you had been in the old time is the old spirit trying to come is the old spirit because there must be no there must be no semblance between you now and your past because they are spirits it's spirits it's spirits it's a spirit that left you must be strong so by the time the spirit is coming back you are full of the holy ghost you are full of the word of God you are full of church activities you are full of humility you are full of meekness you are full you are full with something else never be empty never be empty otherwise he's coming because he would like to try he doesn't come and try and see this one he knows the address the first one he didn't know this one he knows exactly where to go he has, it's like, I've, it's like, I've lived with you before. I've lived with you for 18 years. I've lived with you for 18 years. It's that church that took you away. You will be strong. I have a feeling you will be strong. I have a feeling you are strong. Alcohol will not be a temptation to you. No matter how much you used to drink, when you see it, you say, no, 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 not at all. No, 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 it won't happen. You will not even taste it. You will not even try it. Why? Because you are strong. You must be strong. You must be strong. You must be strong. Because he'll be coming back. Oh, he will. It's in the Bible. It's not, these, are, these, are, these are the words of Jesus. He will come back. He'll come back. He comes back. He keeps coming. He keeps coming. He keeps coming to check. He's coming to check on you. Let me check on you. Let me check on you. Is she available? Is she available for some for some sexism? You shall not be available. Because mind you, it says that when he comes and he sees that it's empty, he doesn't enter. He goes back and organizes seven others wilder than himself. And he says, let's go. I found, I found an empty apartment. I've lived there before. I know where everything is. I know the weaknesses. I know what to say. I know what to do. I know where to take him. Let's go. The, the end of that person is worse than the first. It will never be your story. It will never be your experience. It will never ever be your experience. I block every satanic visit. I block every devilish visit. I stop every satanic agenda against your life. I stop it in Jesus' name. You will never be found. When it comes, you'll be strong. You come and meet you speaking in tongues. You come and meet you in gathering service. He will see you in church on Sunday. He will see you in church on Thursday. See you in church on Friday. He will see you at rehearsals. He will see you at all night. Every time he tries, you are at an all night. The most relaxed state he will find you is that you are having a meal with your beloved. When he comes, you look and say, oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's full of love. Pure love real love 
genuine love. He seems to be doing the right thing. When he's looking for, he will see you under an umbrella with your beloved. You'll be walking, you'll be walking on Oxford streets with your beloved. Your beloved chilling, doing, doing window shopping. You'll be window shopping. You'll be looking at clothes, choosing things to buy. He will look at you and say, oh no, oh no, I wish I had come earlier. I wish I had come. He said, look, look, how, look how he's engaged with it. Whispering things to her ears. And then she's giggling. She's giggling. She's dying. Then he whispers another one. She's falling. It's gone. It's gone. When it comes, you will not be empty. How many do you have? Sit down. Number seven. You must be strong. You must be. How many of you are already convinced that you must be strong? You must be strong. You must be strong. You must be. You've got to be. You've got to be. You've got to be strong. <laughs> Number seven. Look. It's number seven here. Okay. You must be strong to access and lay hold on what belongs to you. You saw all those promises? It's followed by be strong and be courageous. Watch, watch, watch anybody who is doing well in, in the faith and the ministry. Watch, watch him carefully. Maybe you, it's never struck you that this person is strong. But watch them carefully. Those who, those who have lasted decades. And you see, those that, those that when you see them, you ask them that, what is your secret? What is your secret? What have you been doing? What has kept you all this while? How come you are, how come you are still the same? You preach the same. You sound the same. You are still on fire. You are still this. You are still, those, those, those people that it occurs to you. But look, he's still preaching with strength. When you look, when you look at our prophet, he will finish 23 days of crusade. 23 days of crusade with miracles, power. Then he will have conferences, pastors' conferences in different cities back to back. And you are watching. You see, those are, these are the people when you say you, it occurs to you. What keeps him going? Why is he going? He's strong. You see, he's strong in his calling. He's strong in it. He's strong in his calling. He's strong in his ministry. He's strong in the anointing on his life. He's strong in it. I was telling a brother the other day. I, I remember I was sitting in his car. I was sitting in his car. He was sitting in my car. We were in the car. He was talking with a female spirit. Oh, oh, no disrespect to female, but you know you are the weaker vessels. He was talking like a girl. Saying that, saying that, um, what was he even saying? This kind of putting yourself down kind of talking. It's like, it's like, you know, I'm not it. I'm believing God to catch this. I'm believing God to be. I said to him, you know what? I said, you know what, my brother? You know what, my brother? The thing you are saying that you are waiting to get before you do what you have to do, so far as I am concerned, and I'm your pastor, I've pastored you for almost 20 years. I said, so far as I'm concerned, you have it, but you don't use it. Yes, you have it, but you're not strong in it. You're not strong. 
If you are strong in it, you would have seen them. You would have seen plenty of fruit. Many people, many people, many people. I'm telling you, see, take it as a warning before you grow up and get to a certain realm. Many people are asleep with their calling and their ministry. They are asleep. They've gone to bed. Waiting for winds and thunder and lightning before they say that, hey, God has called me. God have something. They are sleeping. They are sleeping with it. I pray, I pray they don't get to heaven and say, can I go back? Can I go back and do some more? It's my prayer for them. It's my prayer for them. Because see, when, when, when you are lazy or inactive or whatever is affecting you, you keep, you keep raising the bar, a bar that you can actually step over. You keep raising it and saying that if only, if only I have longer legs, I'll be able to climb over. If only, you, see, you keep changing the standard up. If only something can be done to me, then I'll be able to do what I have to do. But they have everything. Wow. That's why I started off. That's why my first was that God has given you everything. Only be strong. People who are advancing in ministry, oh, they're strong. If there's any quality that they have, they're strong. They're strong. They're strong in their calling. They're strong in the mantle of their life. In other words, they have actually believed it. They have actually believed it. They have actually believed, they have believed it. That God has given me something. How many times have you not seen the prophet preaching? As his teachers, like when he's teaching pastors, you see him, he will kneel down and say that I was praying. How many times have you not seen him demonstrate and explain, explain, <laughs> explain an experience that he had? You see, what, what, what we are all watching is somebody who is strong in what he believes in. He's strong in it. He's strong. He's strong that God has touched me. He's strong that God has anointed me. He doesn't think he's not anointed. Why would Jesus stand in the synagogue and say, bring me the book of Isaiah and open the book and say, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And then when he finished reading, then he's, then he's, he looks at them in the eye and say, this day, this day, the scripture has been fulfilled in your ears. Today, it has been fulfilled. Today. Today, today. It's like, it's like the verse I've just read, the verse I'm reading, I'm not reading it for just exhortation and for you to be happy. I am telling you that life, life in your eyes and your presence, the scripture is being fulfilled. You are witnessing Isaiah's wow. prophecy live. Wow. 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 Life. Yeah. And mind you, he's not the only person who also made reference to himself that the scripture has been fulfilled. Right in the Bible there. He's not the only one who said, this thing has been fulfilled. It's, it's, like, it's like, I am the, I am the prophecy. Wow. He's not the one who said, I am the prophecy. But when he got to his thing, he didn't say that, oh, John the Baptist has taken it already. Oh, this man has taken it. So it's like, yes, prophecy has been taken. Except, no, today, today, this verse that I have read from the book of Isaiah, today it has been fulfilled. I, it's like, I am the word made flesh. You shall be the word made flesh. You shall also be. You shall also be. You shall also be. When Paul wrote to Timothy, what did he say to him? He said, war, that is be strong and fight with the prophecies that have gone on over your life and your ministry. Use it, like, use it to fight. Use it to fight. Use it to fight. Use it to fight. Use the prophecies to fight. Don't just sit there and just be there. I'm just there. Use the prophecies. Jesus used the prophecies to fight. He used it. Are they giving me the scripture or not? Is somebody awake there? He used it. 
You use, you see, you use scriptures, prophecies. You use it to battle your way through. You use it constantly to battle. You don't use negative experience. The air, the air that Christians breathe is not disappointment. That is not our oxygen. We don't live off disappointments. We don't live off setbacks. We don't live off failures. We live off scriptures. We live off, we live off prophecies. We live off the word of God. This is what we live on. Not things that didn't happen. Come on. How many times have you not seen it? One story. One story. One story. How many times? He would take his time. And he would kneel down. And he will explain, he, he will go, he will go through the story for you to see that he, be, he believes in what he believed in what happened to him. He believes it. He believes it. He believes it. I was bringing something to play to you. I forgot. Maybe it's good that I forgot. Because I wanted, I, I wanted to show you something that I use. In my closet. I was coming to play to you for you. I wanted you to hear that voice. I said, here I'll tell that. Listen to this voice and listen to what is being said. And I'll ask you, do you know who is being said to? Yeah. Those people, people just sleep. People just sleep. People just resign. People just give up on things. People are just there. No vision, no strength, no zeal. They're just there. As though things that are happening in their life are not, are not intended by God. The prophecies, the prophecy. He said, this charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them, thou by them, thou by the prophecies, use the prophecies to fight, thou by them mightest war a good warfare, your strength and the reason for fighting is the prophecies that have gone on in your life. The things you have heard. Whether direct or indirect, the things you have heard. The things that have been preached to you. You have to use it. You have to use it. To battle. What point is this that God has into this? Seven. Who says what? You must be strong in access and lay hold on what belongs to you. Okay, so Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11. You must be strong. You must be. No, you must be. You must be strong. You've got to be strong. You must be. You must be. Let nobody take you off track. Let nobody blow you away from your calling. You must be strong. Let them come and go. Don't let them take you out. Or compromise. Don't let anybody dilute your convictions. Oh. Don't let anybody pour water into what you have believed in. Maintain the conviction that you have in its Purest state, purest. When they come, they, this is what it is. This is what I drink. This is what I drink. This is what I drink. What Jesus, he asked the people, he said, he said, he said you will eat my flesh and you drink my blood. They said, are you also going to go? Because he said, you will eat it. You will eat it. Not that because of you and because of your faces, your faces and your corrupt culture and your backsliding, your backsliding while you are coming off, we should dilute our convictions and our callings to become like you, to become like the world, the world that lies in with what is what is there that is got to offer that should dilute. I should dilute my convictions and what I believe in and what I stand for to have a crossover appeal. No, no, no. My Savior didn't stand for crossing over. He's, he's, if you like me, stay with me. If you don't, this is your condemnation. That you saw light and you chose darkness over light. Not that I should, 
I should make it, I should make it a little dark so that you can be comfortable. It's like it shouldn't be too bright. It should be a little dark. No, 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 you have to be strong. You have to be strong. And you are going to be strong. You are that strong army. I say you are that strong army. Unrelenting. Did we read Luke chapter 11? Ah, Luke chapter 11. We'll read it. It's beautiful. Verse 21. He says that this, this, this is the one that I like. I like this point. He says that when a strong man, armed, keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusteth, and divideth his spoils. There is a regular conflict and fight with a strong man over things that God has given to you. So you need to be stronger than him. Because the strong man will constantly be visiting. He would, he would even, even if you take even souls, he would want to protect the souls he has under his care. You have to be stronger to break through. For, you, for the church to grow, you have to be stronger. Because the souls are under the care and the watch of a strong man. He is not asleep. You have to be stronger than him. And you will be stronger than him. You have to be stronger than him. For the souls, for you to be able to collect the spoil. Otherwise you can't collect it. It's under the watch of a strong man. Not a weakling. A strong man. A strong man. A strong man is watching over the souls. If he was the souls are in, the, in church, you see, he keeps knocking whether he can take them out. He keeps, he keeps trying. He keeps trying. Can I take this one out? Can I deceive this one? Can I get this one offended? Can I make this one unhappy? Can I touch this one? Can I attempt this? Because he's trying. He's trying. But when you are stronger, when you are stronger, he can't. You will overcome the strong man. May you overcome the strong man. Amen. You have to be stronger. You have to be stronger than the strong man. <laughs> you have to be stronger than him. It is a battle for the strong. It is a battle for the strongest. It is won by the strongest. The one that is stronger is the one that wins. Yeah. The one that is stronger. It's the one that wins. When you are not strong, you're right there. You don't get anything. You don't get anything. You will be there. You will be there forever if you are not strong, and you don't work on yourself on becoming strong. Number eight. You must be. You've got to be. And you are going to be. Amen. Number eight. You must be strong in order to destroy spiritual barriers. Because there are spiritual barriers. There are spiritual barriers. Did Jesus not say, this kind goeth not, but by fasting and prayer. It's, a, it's like there's a barrier. There's an invisible barrier. The strong are able to cross. And he came, he said, I know I've taught you that say, what is your name? Come out. I, so by this day, come out. Your name is Butterfly. Butterfly, come out now. And I say, Butterfly, come out. The Butterfly was not coming out. So when he came, he said, they were even confused. That why? How come we can't do it? They said, oh, I need to teach you about barriers. There are spiritual barriers. 
there are borders. There are borders. You've been, you've been traveling, you've been traveling to Europe, to Spain, France, um, where? Um, you, you just cross. No question, nothing. You don't even see anybody. You just cross. Okay. But there's a place. When you arrive, you have to fill a form. With your British passports. You have to fill a form. When you get when you get when you get that, when you get you are an alien. There's some country that they don't write foreigners, they write aliens. When you get that, you see aliens. You see nationals, and then if they have like a community of countries, and then you see that one. And then the next option you see are aliens. That's foreigners. <laughs> when you get there, then you discover that, oh, there's a barrier. I need I need a passport. I need to have the right passport to cross over, to cross through, to cross through. I need, I need something. I need, I need a passport. I need the right 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 passport. I need to cross over. I need it. You see, those, those who have, those have the spiritual passports. You see them. When it gets to church planting, they cross. They are there. When it gets to when it gets to evangelism, crusades, when they gather, they just they just change their passport. Their passport say, uh, this is an apostolic passport. Let me change them and say evangelist passport. Then they cross. They cross with ease. They, they, it's like passports. When, when it gets to pastoring, when it gets to pastoring, growing the church, keeping the flock, watching over the flock, they say, I need, I need my P, my P, my pastoral passport. They, they just take their pastoral passport out and then they cross. They have passports. People have passports. Different things that make them cross invisible barriers. Invisible barriers. When they approach it, they approach it with authority. With authority, they approach. With authority, with authority, they, they, cross, they cross. They cross. Look at the prophet, he oversees, he oversees ten, 10 denominations, not 10 churches. Or 10 countries, 10 denominations. 10 denominations. He must have, he must have a certain, you can call it a key, but I, I think you understand it well when I use passport. He has a certain passport. You should see him on the crusade grounds. As though he doesn't know how to preach in the church, as though he doesn't know how to counsel. As though he doesn't know how to counsel, as though he doesn't know how to sit with somebody and counsel. You should see him just standing there. Preaching, Jesus died for your sins. Give your life to Jesus. As though he does it. And then you see the miracles, but he's using a certain passport. When he finishes the next morning, go and see him training pastors. He's using another passport. It's, a, it's another passport because there, there's no altar call. Another passport is being used. When Jesus came, when he, saw, he saw his people struggling, he said, Oh, you don't have the P and F passport. You need the P and F passport to cross this line. To cross it. To cross it. Because you can cross it. He said, this one, it is dealt with by prayer and fasting. You, it's like you have to be strong in prayer and fasting. You have to be when it's strong. Strong, it's strong, it means believe in it. Don't say I used to do it, so I've stopped. Don't say I did it, so I don't have to do it. It's invisible barriers. They are invisible. And the things to conquer them are also invisible. So you can always tell who has it and who hasn't got it. You know, oh, this, one, this one, even though he's saying he has it, he hasn't got it. He's even making his case worse because he's lying now. Because there are people who don't have it, but they say I have it. Now you are lying. You are, you are even making your state worse. And what you are dealing with are invisible barriers. And people with invisible documents are crossing with ease. They are crossing with ease. What you see, what you see is just a small fraction or even, it's even a manifestation of what somebody has done behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. When you see, when you see somebody, what you are looking at is not, it's not, it's not, about, it's not about having points on your iPad. 
or notes on your iPad. That's not what it's about. It's not about notes on the iPad. It's about invisible passports to cross invisible barriers. You shall cross invisible barriers. You shall start crossing. I see you crossing over. I see you crossing over. I see you crossing over. I see several of you crossing over. You shall be anointed to cross over. Daniel chapter 10. Verse 10. Daniel 10. Verse 10. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees, and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. That's twenty-one days. <laughs> But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I remain there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. For yet the vision is for many days. The prince of Persia was like an invisible barrier. Those of who pray for two days, and then it's like, God is not answering. You must be strong. You must be strong in prayer. You must be strong in prayer. You must be, you see, you must believe that prayer is the thing that shall solve it. Everything by prayer. Nothing without prayer. Never, never, never ask that stupid question. Apart from prayer, what should I do? Never ask that stupid question. It's a question for the weak. It's a question for the weak. Weak people who ask those questions. Be strong in prayer. Continue in prayer. Stay in prayer. Persist in prayer. Persist. Persist in prayer. He said, I've been there for 21 days. I've been there for 21 days. Which might as well, as, as well be like 21 years. He's been there. It's like, I've been waiting. 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 I've, I've, been, I've been there with the prince of Persia. I had to call, it's like I had to call for angelic assistance. May you receive angelic assistance. <laughs> now, finally. Finally. You're going to be strong. Finally. I have to cut my message short. No problem. It's been cut short. Now dessert. You look full. You look like you are getting full. So I need to give you the dessert quickly. So you don't turn down the dessert. You are not full. Okay, you are not full, but I have to serve you the dessert. The restaurant will be closing soon. Now, the dessert is how can you be strong? How? 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 I only have two points for you on this one. Just two. How? You can be strong. Take it seriously. Because you must be strong. You must be strong. You must be strong. Be strong in the prophecies. Be strong in the scriptures. Be strong in the revelation. Be strong in your calling. Believe that you are called. Amen. Never step back. Amen. Never step back. Amen. Never step back and say, maybe I'm not called. Don't even enter that. Maybe I am not. Be strong in it. Amen. You must be strong. You must be strong. Before, before your
your calling as a pastor, missionary, apostle, prophet, you use it to be selling cars. The salesman in the car yard is an apostle because he's not strong. Because he's not strong. So that is sad when you inter interact with people. Why are you not pursuing? You see, you see the, the little demons, not even major demons, little demons. Little demons that have been sent to disrupt them. Little demons. Apprentice demons. Apprentice. Apprentice devils that were used, that were used to tap all them. Apprentice devils. Apprentice devils. Work a, people try to get work experience. <laughs> temping devils. Devils that were temping. Oh. We're just thrown at them. Then it's like, okay, I'd rather, I'd rather be a salesman than, than be that great apostle. Oh. Your calling shall never be aborted. Yeah. I said your calling shall never be aborted. Yeah. You shall be that man. You shall be that minister. You will be. 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 The first thing is that how to be strong is that first point, it depends on you. The scripture says, the scripture, the scripture says, be strong in the Lord. Ephesians 16. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong. Be. You be. You be. It's not something that can be put on you by somebody. You be. It depends on you. It depends on you. You be. You become strong. You do it to yourself. Do it for 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 yourself. You be. Be strong in the Lord. Don't, don't be lazy and transfer your duties. And blame somebody. You be. It's very easy to transfer responsibilities. And blame, and blame people. And blame people. Sometimes under the same circumstances, you can do certain things. I remember one day, I got a call from a man in his 40s. His question was, his question was, so how do you grow a church? How do you get church crew in his 40s? I couldn't control myself. Because in his late 30s, I remember when he came to me and said, he has decided he is going to school for a, a course, a course that 18 year olds struggle to get into. And then after they've got into it, they struggle to, I mean, to do well. I mean, it's not an easy course. I just don't want to say it. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not tourism or, or kitchen management. No, 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 no. It's not one of those. It's not one of those. It's not one of those. No, 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 no. It's not how to manage a swimming pool. Or how to arrange cakes on a table. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I know 18-year-olds who, who got three Bs and almost couldn't enter. Yeah. Yeah. He went. He went. If he's from, if he was 38, he started 38, 39, 40, 41. And then he finished. And then by the time he was 42, he's called me. That it's like, it's like, as for church work, I don't know anything at all. This one I know. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, it's, like, it's like there are some things we know what to do. And we can do. And we want to do. Then when it gets to this one, we don't know what to do. It's like somebody should do it for me. It's like, some, it's like can, you, can you teach me? Can you explain to me how it is done? How you can be strong in the Lord? How you can do this? How you can do that? But look at you. What you want to do, you do. Look at your age. Look at your age. If you don't know your age, test the strength of your erections. You will see your age. This one you don't understand. You're making calls. It's like, it's like, let me call, let me call these people who are spirits. It's like, it's like we are some spirits. It's like we are living some spirits with some, you know, we have some spiritual agenda. We know these things. You, you, you know this one, but this one you don't know. You can sit, you can sit with 18 year olds. And graduate with them and send and send us selfies that I've graduated. Thanks be to God. I've graduated. I've graduated at 41. Thanks be to God. That when it gets to church work, I don't understand. Bishop, so what should I do? What should I do? When it gets to when it gets to money. Because this one is linked to money. When you finish, you get more money. This is the money. No counsel. No advice. You, 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 don't, you don't even ask, oh, Bishop, what do you think? It's like, I am doing it. I am doing this. I have decided I'm doing it. With seven reasons why I must do it. I am pressing the course. That's what the scripture says that. Be strong. You do it for yourself. You be strong. You be strong. You be strong. In the Lord. You, do it for yourself. Be strong. Number two. I only have two points. How many of you are deciding to be strong? Uh, those under here. Okay. They are becoming strong. They are becoming strong. What about upstairs? So how come upstairs has more life than downstairs? Sit down. Or maybe the people in the second half, they can't hear. Can they hear? The people here behind the cameraman, can you hear? If you can hear me, give me a wave. Uh, they can hear. So what's the problem? Are you aware that you are very cool? You are not aware. You want me to come and say hello to you? No, they are not even responding. Really. It's okay. okay. The second point. Sit down. Upstairs, do you have umbrellas? Okay. Wow, you are strong. Look, beautiful. 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 So beautiful. Isn't it not beautiful? It's beautiful. 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 What about the second half here? Do you have umbrellas? I think they are very cool. These are the cool first lovers. Wow, it's beautiful. God bless you. Second point. Second. It's working. It's working. You will be strong. How many of you are going to do it for yourself now? You know how to do other things. You think we haven't seen you? We've seen you. So the people think we can see things, but we see things. At least I see. 
You see, then I can tell how people are able to select things and do it with strength. Strength to its logical conclusion. Same circumstances, everything to battle through, balance through, and get it done. Then when it gets to God, Bishop, hmm. Hmm. Oh, Bishop, hmm. it's not easy. Oh. We are trying. It's not easy. We are trying. Small, small. Hey, Bishop, by the grace, by the grace, by the grace. Yeah, by the, you, you have the accent for it. Oh, by the grace. Oh, by the grace. By the grace. By the grace. Bishop, by the grace. We are forcing. Hmm. By the grace. By the grace. I'm by the force. Yes. Hey, Bishop, by the grace. By the grace. By the grace. Hmm. Bishop, by the grace. Hmm. Do you see them? 38. They're sitting with 18 year olds. Look at the age gap, 20 years. They're there. They're there. They're there, sitting there. There. And they will conquer, overcome, and take pictures on graduation. And use that as their profile picture. He said, by the grace. By the grace. When it gets to church work, they enter into a coma. Yeah, they're in a coma. They're like in, they are in intensive care. It shall never be your story. You shall be strong. You are strong. How many of you are going to be strong today? 20 years from now, you'll be strong. 30 years from now, you'll be strong. 50 years from now, you'll be strong. 60 years from now, you should be strong. Strong in the Lord. Strong. The second point. And how to be strong is yes. be filled, be filled, be filled. Each be filled has an exclamation mark. Be filled, be filled, be filled. Never be empty. Never be empty. Never, never leave yourself dry and empty. Be filled, be filled, be filled. Be a believer that is full, not empty, full. Full. Full of what? Full of what? Maybe I should just give you one. Are you enjoying the dessert? This is this is dessert. This is dessert. This is it. Is this sweet? Ah. Okay, I'll give you two. Be filled with the spirit. Ephesians 5:18. Don't be drunk with wine. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Don't be full of nonsense. Don't be full of nonsense. Don't be full of anger. Be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Be a Spirit-filled person. When they were looking for a replacement for, uh, what's that guy called? Judas. They said, give us men who are full. Full. You see, it's like people, not, 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 uh, not empty bags. Not empty bags. <laughs> not empty, not empty bags and empty things that are walking around. No hot air bags. I'll be blowing hot air. Giving stories and telling us stories and telling us, you know, explanations and, you know. No. The people who qualify for the service of God are people who are full of the Spirit. 
full of the Spirit. Full of the Spirit. Make yourself that person who is full of the Spirit. Not full of nonsense. So choose, give us people, give us people. He said, we know somebody who is full of the Holy Ghost. Full of, full of the Holy Ghost, you qualify. Full of the Holy Ghost. Filled with the, filled with the Holy Spirit. Having dreams, visions, revelations. Having understanding. Knowing what the will of God is. The spiritual person knows what the will of God is. The spiritual person, when he has difficulties in something, he doesn't run to carnal conclusions or conclude like the Gentiles or the, pe or the people of the world. The people of the world, when they have a problem, it's like one, two, back on my shoe. Those are the ones in marriage. I have a quarrel. say, hey, I don't want you again. You don't want to get, is it, is it a shoe you bought in the shop that you are returned? Is it a shoe? Are you a Christian at all? Are you a Christian? Refund policy. You are, is it, you are running low. You are running low on the Holy Spirit. What are you wake up? Just wake up and say, I don't want again. What do you mean you don't want again? So you don't, so what should we do? What should we do? Who should we go and give it to? I don't like this. I don't like so I don't I don't want again. <laughs> you will want. You will want. If I'm your pastor, you will want and you will like. But when you were going, you were told. Oh, you were told. I know I told you. You will like. You will stay. You will stay. You are, you are, one of you will attend the other's funeral. You will live long and be old. Gray hair with your children and your grandchildren. That one day one of you will die. But not two days. I don't like again. What do you mean you don't like? Is it, is it the hoodie you bought in the shop? I don't like again. I'm returning the hoodie. Are you a child? Are you a child? I don't like it again. I'm returning. I don't, I don't want to. This is about I don't like. Is he a hoodie? Hey. Is she a hoodie? Hey. Is he a hoodie? Hey. Do you know hoodie? Yeah. I don't like. Yeah. People talk about their spouse as though they are talking about hoodies hey. and shoes. Yes. Yes. How about a shirt the other day? I just opened it like this. Took it out of the bag. This kind of online buying things. I just, I just, I didn't even, I didn't even open it decent. I just held it like a squeeze and then put it off there. Took the shirt out, opened it. I said it's too big. Then I put it back in the fridge and returned it. I said I don't want it again. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's a shirt. These are the things that you return because I, I bought it carelessly, just clicking, clicking. I like the color is this. Click. It doesn't cost much. Pay. Put your thing in. Turn your card over. Put the three numbers there. Send. Then it comes. Next day delivery. It has come. What do you got? I return the shit. Marriage is not like that. No. That's we keep warning you. Talking to you. You, you, you say you can't. You, you can't. Look like it's a wedding. Go for your honeymoon. The when you come back, you say, I don't like it. It's not, it's not a shirt you bought from boohoo.com or ASOS or next or where top man. It's not a top man shirt or where. River Island. Yeah. It's not a River Island shirt. Yeah. Or Zara. Yeah. It's not a belt you bought from Zara. You open it and say, I don't like it again. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Who trained you? Yeah. Who brought you up? Yeah. You like? Yeah. 
Oh no, you like. You like. I'm sorry I'm your pastor, but you like. I'll never even have even one meeting with you. You like. You like. Go and sit down so I can finish preaching. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled with the Spirit. 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 And then, be filled with faith. Be filled with faith. To be strong, be filled with, the, with, the, with, with faith. Be full of faith. Full of faith. Full, full of faith. Full of faith. <laughs> the scripture says, faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. The more you hear the word, the more faith you have. That's why I was bringing that thing to play to you. For you to, to, I, I just want to give you a little glimpse. This is what I hear. This is what I hear about myself. This is what I hear about myself. This is what I listen to about myself. Anytime I feel I'm running low, this is what I, I, this is what I play to myself to hear this. I hear this. Because I need to be full of faith. I need to be full of faith. I need to be full of faith. I was going to preach somewhere once and then. The day before, I remember I was standing in my bedroom pacing up and down, wishing that the, the following day has come and gone. You know, and I was mumbling to God that God, how is like, I was actually asking, how, how did I find myself in this situation? How, how, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like, let's talk, come on, let, let's talk. How, I mean, how did this happen? Why? Then suddenly he said to me, do you not remember this thing? And he put an experience. He said, do you remember that experience? I said, yes. He said, then what's your problem? Wow. That was it. He settled it. Wow. That was it. It was even never opened. It was over. He said, do you remember, he said, do you remember this experience that you had? Do you remember this experience that you had? You had this experience at the army of hard followers. He said, that is the result of this. That is the result of where you are. Where you are is a result of that thing. Anytime you forget yourself, remind yourself of that thing. As I'm walking in front of you now, I can see it. <laughs> I can, I can, it is him. I can see it. I can see because it never was in life. Their story was different. But after that, it's been different. As I'm walking in front of you today, I can see it. I see it. But you have to be full of faith. You have to believe. You have to believe. You have to have faith. Faith comes by hearing. 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 It comes by hearing. Perhaps it's a long time you, you heard. That's why you're a little shaky. It's a long time you heard. It's a long time you it's a long time you listen, you listen to you listen to messages or perhaps a particular message. I have a gadget. That thing. It's on that gadget. Repeated many times. When it's finished, the next track is the same thing. Because I need it. I need it to be strong. I need it to be strong. I need it. When it I, don't, I don't even need to press repeat. No, no. When, when I put it down like this, I press play. That's the only thing I'll hear. And it builds my faith. It builds my faith. I get stronger. I tell myself it is possible. I can do it. I can fight on. 
I can press on by the prophecies that has gone on over my life. I can fight on. I can press on. I can. I tell myself, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Then the army of heart followers experience. It's like an icing on the cake. When I, when I boost the faith, then I put that one on as an icing. And I say, it's, it is well. It can be done. It can be done. And I say, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's try another one. Let's do another one. It can. It is possible. It can be done. And it shall be done. You must be strong. Stand to your feet. Wow. Is that your best clap for the night? to and thank the Lord for tonight. You'll be strong. You will be. Pray for yourself that you'll be strong. Pray for strength. 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 Anything that has tormented your life leaves your life to tonight. Anything that has disturbed you, has disturbed you, leaves you tonight. Any power from hell any force of the enemy, any covenant with the enemy, it breaks tonight. 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 Pray for yourself for strength. Oh, pray for the Ephesians. He said, I since I heard of your confession, I've been praying for you to be strengthened with might in the inner man. With might in the inner man. I've been praying. I've been praying that you will have strength in the inner man. Strength in the inner man. I've been praying for you. I've been praying for you. Pray for yourself that you will be strong. You will be strong. You will be strong. You will be strong. You will be, be strong. Several situations are changing for you tonight. It's changing. It's changing. It's changing. It's going to change. It's going to change. It's going to change by the power of God. By the power of God, it's going to change. Confusion leaves you. Depression leaves you. Weakness leaves you. Weakness leaves you. In Jesus' name, pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. A change is coming. Change, change, change. Change and promotion comes to you. It comes to you tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thanking Him, thanking Him, thanking Him, thanking Him, thanking Him and praying for yourself. Strength, 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 strength. You shall be strong. You shall be strong. You shall be strong. The Spirit of God rests upon several of you tonight. The Spirit of God rests upon several of you. Tonight is a night of anointings. It's a night of anointings. You shall receive anointings and gifts and blessings. It's a night. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. You shall be anointed. You are leaving this service as an anointed person, as a strong person, as a person full of the Spirit, full of the Spirit, full of the Spirit, full of the Spirit. That is what it is for you. You came here to receive an anointing. You came here to receive an anointing. You came here to be made strong. You came here to be made strong. You shall be made strong. You shall be strengthened. You shall be strengthened. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Distance yourself by prayer. Distance yourself by prayer from your former state, from what you used to be. What
what you used to be like, how you used to be. Distance yourself. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is moving you ahead. It's moving you ahead. It's moving you ahead. The power of God, the power of God is causing you to search forward. Several people are searching forward. You are searching forward in life and ministry. In life and ministry, you are searching forward. You will no longer go in cycles. You will no longer go in cycles. You will no longer go in cycles. You are going forward by the power, by the power, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. It is God. It is God. It is God that advances you that advances you it is God it is God you came to him speak to him call out to him he's advancing you he's advancing you see he's advancing you see he's advancing you he's taking you forward he's taking you forward he's moving you forward oh Shabbat Abahapa Kapatasa Kapatasa Kapasimata, Plato Shama Lebre Diva Kappa, Domirago Sedesta, Malamade, 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 Azei Tadade Dado Santa Lava Diva Kappa. Hey God, pray. The Holy Ghost is coming on you. The Holy Ghost is on you. The anointing is on you. The anointing is on you. It's on several people. This is your chance. This is your chance. This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's on several of you. Several of you are receiving the power. The power of God. The power of God. The power of God affects your life. Affects your life. It affects your life. Tonight. 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 A change. 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 You are advancing. You will be strong. You are becoming 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 strong. Cycles of disappointment are broken. Cycles of discouragement are broken. Cycles of confusion are broken. Cycles, negative cycles are broken tonight. Aha! Cleto Sheke, Cleto Sima, Cleto Sisto, Cleto Piasta, Cleto Biasta, Pradeshti, 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 Ajeta Lada Sanda Lava Diva Kappa, Makladista Talianda Stata, Makapatusta, Makapasto Tasta, Mashte Tayadesti, Maklindestianda. Ah. 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 God is touching you. God is touching you. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing that breaks the yoke. Receive the anointing that breaks the yoke. Receive the power that breaks the yoke. The yoke is broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. There are some of you here whose life has been in circles. You've not progressed. You keep going round and round and round. There's an anointing in this room to break that cycle. You shall begin to go forward. You shall begin to go forward. You will start advancing. You will start moving forward. 
you will go forward and at top speed at top speed you will advance by the power of God if you are here you feel you fall in that category I want to come to me right now very quickly come to me right now feel your life has been in circles 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 I'll touch as many as I can I'll not be able to touch all of you I don't know why a lot of you are coming but if you believe it come come it ends tonight when I touch you receive the power to advance and the power to move forward in the name of Jesus thank you yes 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 Lord yes be praying everybody be praying be praying God God yes God touches you tonight yes it's the power of God it's the power of God be free yes the cycle is broken it breaks it breaks it breaks it breaks it breaks go forward I command you to go forward I command you to advance by the power by the power of God foolishness is taken away foolishness is being taken away from somebody I see that spirit of foolishness rolling away rolling away rolling away yes 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 yes
I thank you for all these people. Thank you. Thank you that they are set free. I declare, I speak to the devil. I speak to demons. I speak to powers. Powers that be, that have held you captive. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to loosen these ones. Take your hands off their lives. Take your hands off their lives. You lose them today. Today you lose them by the name of Jesus. They no longer belong to you. They no longer belong to you. They shall no longer suffer from your oppression and from your visits and from your harassment. I declare them free. I declare them liberated. Every cyclical devil, I command you, go, 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 go. The curse is broken. Several curses, several curses are being broken tonight. Are being broken tonight. You are set free. You are set free from wicked covenants, wicked agreements, wicked agreements, wicked agreements, wicked contracts, agreements with the devil, agreement with demons, known and unknown, I set you free. I command you are free. I command you are set free. Free. Be free. In Jesus' name. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Receive your liberty. Receive your freedom. Receive it. Receive it. You are free. I declare over your life. You are set free in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap of prayer. You are set free. Go back to your seats. Several of you have been set free. I don't need to touch you. Do it to touch you. Tonight is a night of anointings. I hear that whisper. It's a night of anointings. It's a night for anointings. You shall catch an anointing. The anointing will break the yoke. The anointing has set you free. You are returning a liberated soul. Every visit by night has been terminated. Every visit through dreams has been terminated. Every curse has been broken. Every yoke has been broken from off your neck. You are free. You are free. You are free. Get to your seat quickly. Find your seats very quickly. And stand to your feet. If you are seated, stand. You are leaving this place stronger than you came. You will be strong. Every eye closed, every head bowed. Let me pray for you specially. You are here. You've been going to church. Or somebody invited you to church today. But you are not born again. You are not saved. Or you are totally backslidden. And today, you want to start your walk with God. You want to say, Pastor, pray with me. Pray with me. Everybody stay where you are. Stop moving. Stay where you are. Stay. Stay, 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 
Stay, stay, stay, stay, stay. Every eye closed, every head bowed. You are here. You may be in a shirt. You may be in a red shirt. First love written on it. By your heart, you know you are far from God. You have no relationship with God. Or you've lost your relationship with Him. And you want to say tonight, the pastor, pray with me. Pray with me. I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to come back to God. I want to be strong in the Lord. I want to be strong in serving God. I want to be strong in working with God. I need a change in my life. I'm tired of the sin. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want a better life. I want a good life. I want to walk with Jesus. I want to be saved. I want my sins to be forgiven. I want my sins to be washed away. I want my name to be written in the Lamb's book of life. If you're here like that, while every eye is closed and every head is bowed, I say, Pastor, pray with me. I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to lift up your right hand wherever you are and I'll pray with you. God bless you. Lift up your right hand. Lift up high so I can see you. God bless you. Pastor, pray with me. I can see those hands. I can see them. Wherever you are, wherever you are standing, don't think about anybody. Don't think about anybody. Think about your salvation. I want to give my life to Jesus today. I want to walk with God. I want to walk with Him. I want to have a relationship with Him. A hoodie doesn't make you born again. Having a red hoodie with first love on it doesn't mean that if you die today, you are going to heaven. If you are not sure, you say, Pastor, pray with me. I need Jesus in my heart and in my life. Just your right hand and I'll pray with you. Have your hand lifted up. I want to do one more thing. I want to come to me here. To come to me. Just if you're on the stairs, wherever you are, come out of your seats. Come to me right now. Come quickly. You have your right hand lifted up. Come. I've also lifted up my hand. Come to me. Come. Come. Jesus did. You want to start a new life with God. A new life. A new life. And you want to be strong in Him. A new life in Jesus. Come, I'm waiting for you. Just as I am.
Thank you, Father. Bow your heads, close your eyes. If you're still out there, you're not sure, you can still join us. You must be born again. You must be born again. To be strong, your first step is to be born again. Is to be born again. You must be born again. If you're still out there, you're not sure. Just come and join us. We are waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. The only reason why you are moving now is that you are coming to the front. That you are coming to give your life to Jesus. Come. Are you coming to Jesus? Come. Make way for them. Come. It's urgent. It's important. Come. Come. Come to Jesus. Come to him. He loves you so much. 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 God loves you so much. Come to him. Come to him. Close your eyes, everybody. Bow your heads. And say this prayer after me. Everybody in this room say it. Everybody in this room say it. And if you still have a conviction that you should come, as we are about to pray, just rush and join us. Maybe you're the last one left in this room to give his life to Jesus. Don't miss this chance. Don't miss this opportunity. Run and come to us and join us as we pray right now. Everybody say, say with me, say, Heavenly Father. I want you to pray loudly and come. Don't whisper any part of this prayer. Say with me, say, Heavenly Father. Thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for Jesus. Who died on the cross. And rose up on the third day. Say, I am a sinner. Please forgive me of all my sins. Please wash me with the blood of Jesus. Please wash me of all my sins and of all my mistakes. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Please come into my heart. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Say from today, I will serve you. I will obey you. I will no longer serve Satan. Say Heavenly Father, thank you for accepting me. Please write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Please write my name in the book of life. Say thank you Father for saving me and giving me Jesus. Now look at me. Look at me everybody. Lift up your finger like this. And say Satan. Shout it out. Say Satan. I will no longer serve you. I belong to Jesus. I am bought with the blood of Jesus. I bind you. I cast you out of my life. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. It is over with you. It is over with you. I have nothing to do with you again. In Jesus' name. Shout it in Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name. Now shout your best, amen. It is done. We have these books for you. Everybody get a copy. How you can become a strong Christian. Every one of you should get a copy. Every one of you should get a copy. Read it until you can preach it. Get it. No matter what. Get this, this, this one is anointed. More than one you have ever received before. Get this one. And read it. You saw the brother giving his testimony. Where is that brother? He's somewhere there. He said he had it. He didn't read it. When he read it and he saw, all the answers are here. You shall be strong Christians. So get a copy. I, I wish sharing it. Make sure you get a copy. Make sure you stay in church. Stay in church. Be planted in church. Be serious in church. And you will be a strong Christian. This book, read it until you can teach it to somebody else. When you read it for a while, you go and practice it on your friend. How to be a strong Christian. You go and explain a chapter. Go explain a chapter in a verse. Explain it till you can teach it. It means you are getting stronger. You're getting stronger and stronger. Today our message is, you must be strong. This is it. This is the book. You must be strong. And you are going to be strong. You are going to be super strong Christians. You see, if you really, you see, you see a chapter there. Be filled, be filled, be filled. You see there. Read it, eat it, and teach it. You shall be strong. God bless you. Go back to your seats. If you don't have a copy, make sure you take one before you get to your seat. Make sure you get one before you get to your seat. Make sure you get one. We're going to eat the Lord's body and drink the Lord's blood. That's all. Take, eat, it's a covenant that's going to mark the end of any interaction with the world of darkness. Drink, this is my blood that was poured out for you. Yes. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood yes. has eternal life. Yes. For oh, my flesh is meat indeed, yes. and my blood is drink indeed. The yes. cup of blessing which we bless is the communion of the body yes. of Christ. The bread which we yes. break. Is the communion oh, yes, of the body of Christ. Oh, this is the meal, the holy meal of God. It will sustain you, it will heal you, it will bring you life. When I see the blood. Broken for you. Drink this is my blood poured out for you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. The cup of blessing which we bless is the communion of the blood of Christ. The bread which we break is the communion of the body of Christ. Oh, this is the meal, the holy meal of God.
tonight Lord the blood answers tonight Lord the blood closes that door tonight oh God let that door be closed Lord let that door of continuous persistent failure Lord let that door be closed tonight Lord that door of confusion of mental illness of being paranoid let that door be closed tonight, Lord. That door, that door of inherited diseases and sickness, Lord, that keeps coming in cycles, in seasons, in years, Lord. Let that door be closed tonight by the blood of Jesus, Lord. That cares on parents, that cares on grandparents, that curse that came through great grandparents, the familiar curse of God. Let that door be closed tonight in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, 
we escape every trap we escape every snare we escape every seed we escape every spoken word against our lives oh God we escape it by the blood of Jesus in Jesus name I announce to you tonight is the end of every difficulty of every problem of every challenge of every impossible situation I make a declaration tonight is an end by the blood of Jesus 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 you will never see that problem again you will never encounter that situation again you are placed far above every principality every power every demon every devil you are promoted tonight by the blood of Jesus in Jesus name father thank you for a blessing as devils entities forces powers depart from our lives Lord and we eat the Lord's body and we drink his blood may we be filled with the Holy Spirit may we be filled with power may we be filled with strength may we be filled with wisdom as foolishness departs may we be filled with the spirit of wisdom may we be filled with the spirit of wisdom may we be filled with the spirit of wisdom in Jesus name Thank you, Lord, for this blessing. And thank you, Lord, for this moment. As you eat and you drink, sicknesses are healed. Curses are broken. Disappointments are healed. Pain is healed. Receive healing for your pain. 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 Receive healing for your disappointment. The reason why people have said sorry to you and continue to say sorry to you is cancelled tonight. You shall be congratulated. You shall be congratulated. You shall be congratulated. For your, for your difficulty, for your problems, for your disappointments, receive double blessing. Receive double blessing. Receive double blessing. Receive double blessing. Anybody here, any tongue, any mouth that had said sorry, any eye, that had looked at you with pity and sorrow that mouth shall congratulate you those eyes shall look at you with eyes of envy they shall become envious of you they shall become envious of you they shall become envious of you in Jesus name in Jesus name to be congratulated expect to be told well done expect to be told you have done well expect to be told I wish I have what you have they shall be envious of you for your trouble receive double for your trouble receive double blessings for your trouble, receive double blessings. For your trouble, receive double blessings. For your trouble, receive double blessings. Hey, I hear the voice saying, For your shame, receive double honor. For your shame, receive double honor. Anything that has caused shame in your life, the Lord is bringing double honor to your life today. Receive it! Receive it! Receive it! It's been distributed. It's been 
distributed. Parcels of honor, gifts of honor, gifts of promotion. Receive it, 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 receive it. Your end shall be glorious. Father, I bless the bread and I bless the cups and I declare it's the Lord's body and the Lord's blood. We eat it in faith. We drink it in faith. Believing, believing that from today we shall live by Christ. We shall dwell by Christ. We shall work by Christ and we shall do well and prosper because of Jesus Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Jesus Christ. Eat it. Power enters your body. Tangible power enters your body. It's happening practically to you today. Every negative force is going to be displaced by the blood of Jesus. It shall be displaced. It shall be displaced. You'll be surprised. Somebody's testimony shall be, I've been a fool all along. I didn't know. Because the veil and the cloak of foolishness is being lifted off you. I see it being lifted off you. And the cloak of wisdom, understanding, quick understanding, comes upon you now. It 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 comes upon you now. It's a night of supernatural things. Pluck your portion. Receive your portion. Take your portion. Supernatural things are being done. Supernatural things are being done. Supernatural things are taking place here. Supernatural changes are occurring here tonight. It's beautiful. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. The precious blood of Jesus. Drink all of it. It flashes away every problem. Such power. Such power. You've just taken in power. Power has entered into you. Divine abilities. Supernatural abilities. You shall be more intelligent than you've ever been. Your intelligence is upgraded a hundred times. Your intelligence is upgraded a hundred times. Your intelligence is upgraded a hundred times. Supernatural abilities. Sicknesses have disappeared. Sicknesses have been healed. Problems have been taken away. In Jesus' mighty name. Close your eyes for two moments and just thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord. Lift up your two hands and thank Him. Everybody lift up your two hands and just thank God. Just thank Him. With your eyes closed, just thank Him. Thank Him for what He has done. Thank Him for what He has done. Thank you 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 for who he is. Thank you for who he is. Thank you for what he has done. Thank you for his power. Power has been deposited in you. Power has been deposited in you. Power has been deposited in you today. Power has come into you. Thank him. Thank him for it. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you for your blessed power. In Jesus' name, amen. Take your seats. There is no devil that came here with you that would ever appear in your life again. It is solved here, practically here, not tomorrow, not in the future, here, 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 it has dissolved. 
things that doctors didn't have an answer for. Jesus has fixed it. Things, listen to me carefully, things doctors they didn't have an answer for. They were doing trial and error. They didn't know what to do. Jesus has fixed it tonight. You can check yourself and see. It's been fixed. It's been sorted. It's been sorted. He's fixed it. It's been fixed tonight. Things doctors don't have an answer for. It's been fixed tonight. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. God has touched you. I feel a presence. And a power. That is changing things. Things are being changed. Things are being corrected in your life. Every crooked thing. Is being made straight. Every crooked thing. Is straightening up. Is straightening up. Is straightening up. Is straightening up. It's straightening up. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Your crooked life is being made straight. Your crooked academic life is being made straight. Your crooked marriage is being made straight. Your crooked finances is being made straight. Receive it. It's been straightened. Your health that has troubled you. I take authority over that problem. I take authority in the name of Jesus. And I break that yoke. I declare that yoke broken because of the anointing, because of the name of Jesus. It is broken. You leave it behind. Go out of this place without that problem. Go out of that, this place without that issue. Go out of this place without that problem and pain and ache. You leave this place without it. In Jesus' name, you are healed. You are healed. 